The Imo State Governor has now signed into law the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law, uh, Prohibition Bill rather. The bill, which is now law, is aimed at checkmating gender-based violence and other related offences in the society. Gabnozo Dima said his administration will continue to support and implement policies and programs that will improve on human rights. Nigeria has long been facing a gender-based violence crisis, with 30% of women and girls aged 15 and 49 having experienced sexual abuse. Lack of coordination among key stakeholders and poor implementation of legal frameworks combined with entrenched gender discriminatory norms have hampered government and civil society efforts to address gender-based violence. At official signing of this legal framework, the Speaker of the House of Assembly gives a rundown of the importance of the new law and urge Imo citizens to take advantage of the passage of the bill to eliminate all forms of sexual and gender-based violence. The VAP law covers various forms of violence, but particularly horns in on gender and sexual-based violence. It also redefines rape and recognizes that rape can involve male victims. Furthermore, Your Excellency, the VAP law focuses on globally acceptable deterrence in form of punishment. Then the governor pulls pen and paper. Governor Zodima noted that the bill doesn't support same-sex marriage and abortion, rather aimed at tackling all sorts of violence against persons, especially sexual and gender-based. The law bestows equal rights on both the female and male as it regards seeking redress. Oftentimes, we hear about men assaulting their wives. But the truth is that there are cases where women batter their husbands. So if that happens, men can also open up and also seek redress. A major advocate of the new law, the wife of the most state governor, expressed gratitude to the government for the new fit as it will go a long way to safeguard the vulnerable in the state. We're going to have a sexual offender register and then um, a lot of things. In our SAC centers, we're going to, we are going to work on our uh, SAC centers, which will include a place where the, a girl child or any affected person can stay there and be comfortable without um, any fear of molestation or fear that the attacker or whoever will come back to you know, attack them. Now, Imo State is the 19th state in the Federation to domesticate the violence against persons prohibition bill. Prince Oba, TVC News, Owerin.